accords with what you see on the outside. Juul is an e-cigarette, but it really doesn't look like one. It looks like a tech product. To nicotine, to make it something we inhale. It's the tar that puts our lungs, that makes us get lung cancer. This whole thing, but that was the... I chose to do this lesson on vaping so that I could educate our students about what would happen to their bodies if they chose to use vaping as a means of coping with some of the stressors of middle school. It's pretty common for middle schoolers to participate in those out-of-bounds behavior, so I just wanted to do an education piece. Two students were caught on campus vaping and I wanted to educate them as opposed to just suspend. All the popcorn is going to go on to that one spot. It is a, it's a long suspension because it's illegal to carry the product. Have you had to do that yet? Then? Yes, we had one. So this is my position to educate the kids so that they know what the consequences of their actions are, not just from school point, but for their long-term life and health. There is so many new products out there, I, we, don't, we can't keep up with them. The kids know about this stuff before we ever do, and what they can do and what their potential is. So the market out there is so fast. Most are going to be made uh, in China, but, okay. there, but there are a huge growing number of U.S. made products um, that are coming out. Uh, vaping technology had, changes like ten computers. If you had 10 devices, how many were made overseas? Uh, seven. Some of the people in the community reached out to me when we found the pods on campus. So there was a PE coach and three parents, and we came in and we sat down with all the kids. So I want to let all of the grade levels know that we have an awareness and an education plan. You're now going to add what is equivalent to 59 milligrams of nicotine Coming from a science teacher standpoint, if you can get a visual into the kids' minds, you make a big difference.